why you should never drink bottled water. If there's one hot button issue that's going to define this generation, it's climate change. We're constantly debating it, fighting it, or, like we're going to talk about today, inadvertently contributing to it. Yes, today we're going to discuss some facts about pollution, as well as why you should never buy plastic water bottles. Here's a hint. It has a lot to do with the fact that they're not only bad for you, but they're bad for the planet as well. But first, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for all sorts of new ways to save the Earth. Remember, if you care about pollution and climate change, you better believe your bestie will as well. Alright, so before we dive into our expose about plastic water bottles, let's talk a little bit about a couple things you might not have known about pollution. For example, fact number one. Did you know that our country can be affected by pollution from around the world? Particularly, China's pollution is so bad that they actually influence the weather here in the United States. The people at Natural Energy Hub have found out that it takes just five days for the winds and circulating currents to carry heavy air pollution from China to the US. The pollution stops the clouds from producing rain or snow. So if you're ever having a particularly bad drought, you can thank our wonderful neighbor to the east. Fact number two. All right, now it's time to find out who the world's largest polluter is. Can you guess? We'll give you a second to yell the answer at your computer. Time's up. Did you guess the dastardly United States? Because they're behind all of the world's worst problems, right? Wrong! It's, in fact, our country from the previous fact, none other than China. In a 2016 study done by JRC Science, they found out that of all the countries in the world, China had the most fossil fuel CO2 emissions. The same was found in 2015, and they even grouped the entire European Union together. Also, we know that you can look at this list and say, well, the United States is second, so we weren't that wrong. Well, think again, because China produces almost twice the fossil fuel CO2 emissions. With the United States producing 5,011,687 fossil fuel CO2 emissions, and China having 10,432,751 fossil fuel CO2 emissions, finally, we'll end on this. The world's total fossil fuel CO2 emissions in 2016 was 35,753,306. Hmm, maybe it's time to throw down some recycling bins, China. Fact number three. All right, so now that we've looked at the biggest contributor to pollution and CO2 emissions, why don't we look at the lowest? According to the folks at the Carbon Dioxide Information Analysis Center, the Environmental Sciences Division at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, United States, geez, that was a long title, the country with the least fossil fuel CO2 emissions in 2016 was Tuvalu, with a value of 11. Wow! This is most likely because it's a tiny island off the coast of Australia, with a population of 11,192, and they don't really have the opportunity to pollute big, but good for you anyway. Fact number four. Let's talk about oil spills for a second. We know how devastating they can be, especially to the sea life below them. However, did you know that there are other forms of oil pollution? Natural Energy Hub says it best. The first one is the oil droplets from all forms of land vehicles, which is washed off into the ocean via stormwater. There is also the oil leakage and spill that occurs from small recreational boats or jet skis. When engines are not maintained well or an operational error, human error or simple negligence occurs, small leakages of oil occur, which are not counted in the larger picture of pollution. But a thousand droplets of oil can still cause as much damage as a million ones. Well said, Natural Energy Hub. Well said. The point of all this is that we take better care of our machines and if possible, switch to something more environmentally friendly. Fact number five. We know that rock and roll ain't noise pollution thanks to ACDC, but what about other noise pollution? Is there any downside to occasionally hearing some loud noises if you live in a city? Well, we'll let Natural Energy Hub tell you the truth. Noise pollution causes stress-related illnesses, hearing loss, sleep disruption, lost productivity, and high blood pressure. Since it is a very subtle form of pollution, an exact number of people suffering from it is not calculable. 
We don't even know how many people are affected by this form of pollution, which is a scary thought, needless to say. Fact number six. Did you know that pollution can affect animals in some very strange ways? For example, Fact Retriever has an interesting report on the fish in British rivers. Approximately one third of male fish in British rivers are in the process of changing sex due to pollution. Hormones in human sewage, including those produced by female contraceptive pills, are thought to be the main cause. Not only that, but the polar ice caps aren't the only thing being shrunk by pollution. Fact Retriever once again reports that the genitals of polar bears in East Greenland are becoming smaller thanks to climate change. Oof, that's gotta suck. All right, so now for the main event, our expose of plastic water bottles. Plastic water bottles are convenient and easy to find in any store, so it's easy to see why they're so popular. But what if we told you that you don't really need them? According to the International Bottled Water Association, the bottled water industry makes about $14 billion per year as of 2015. Some other impressive bottled water numbers from 2015 include, it's the second largest beverage category in the United States right after soft drinks. The average consumed per person was 36.3 gallons, and only 1% of bottled water comes from an international source. But even though it's such a popular industry, the reality is they shouldn't have to exist. There are plenty of good reasons why you don't need bottled water in your life, and most of them will benefit you in the long run. Here's a list of some of the most important reasons why you shouldn't be drinking bottled water. Number one. Plastic bottles are not sustainable. Not only does it take plastic hundreds of years to decompose, but we're also filling the ocean with our discarded plastic water bottles. The Ocean Conservatory found that every square mile of the ocean has 46,000 pieces of plastic sitting at the bottom, affecting entire ecosystems and natural structures. Number two. Bottled water is just overpriced tap water. Around 50 to 70% of bottled water companies just fill their bottles with tap water. During an audience experiment, Good Morning America gave a group of people different types of water to taste, including water from the New York City tap water. The other brands tested included Poland Spring, O2, and oxygenated water. The brand that tested the best? New York City tap water snagged 45% of the audience votes. Number three, there's a high chance that no one is assessing it for quality. In America, the regulations for tap water are strict and insured by the EPA. But because bottled water is considered a privately sold product, it's up to the FDA to regulate its quality. Number four, bottled water companies can be misleading with their advertisement. You probably remember bottled water commercials and labels that claim to source their water from natural springs and waterfalls. The truth can sometimes be harsher than the lie. In America, bottled water companies get most of their water from California, a notoriously drought-prone area. Number five, making a water bottle is wasteful. The truth is bottling plants use 1.63 liters of water for every one liter put inside a bottle. If you care about the environment and the future of our water, then there's no better reason to get your own filter and drink the water you have at home. Number six, it's a little cruel to the rest of the world. Did you know that there are currently 750 million people without access to clean water? The fact that we would rather spend more money and water to use water bottles instead of the clean running water coming out of our homes looks terrible when you think about it. We've been duped by a massive industry into thinking that we need bottled water, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Number seven, water bottles can harm your body. Currently, bottled water companies use plastics without BPA, but the plastic is still not 100% free from other types of toxins. There are a few types of chemical compounds that plastic releases when it's exposed to hot temperatures, like when you leave it in your car for too long. Number eight, there are so many alternatives. Besides buying a filter for your own tap at home, you can buy your own reusable water bottle free of BPA. A popular choice of reusable water bottle material is stainless steel, and many companies offer long-lasting and stylish designs. And that concludes our video about pollution and plastic water bottles. Did you learn anything from what we taught you? 
Are you going to change your ways to help fight against climate change? Or is the convenience of plastic water bottles just too much to pass up? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and please try not to get into a huge flame war about climate change. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.